Big Island Caravan was from about 1963 to 1980 or 81. Tremendous organization. I had a lot of fun with it. If you look over there, there's a camper and it's got a two on the side of it. Believe it or not, there's still people getting together Mitchell Caravan. Now, 95% of them aren't Mitchells because they want something new and better. <laughs> He still got his old Mitchell. Don't look too bad, does it? No. Oh, <laughs> anyway, story of the Mitchell Caravan. To the right there, you see my brother and you see uh, Bill Jackson. What happened was my brother uh, was sitting in his office one day and he had a salesman come in. The salesman said, "Why don't you send every one of your uh, customers a?" Uh, so every one of your customers a calendar. And Bud thought for a minute, he said, well, I, I'd rather buy a mistake. So the guy left and he got thinking about it. So he called a bunch of uh, campers together, most, mostly around here, and said, let's go up in the mountains and have a steak. So we did. We went up in the mountains and had a steak, and we furnished the steaks. And we come home, and couple weeks they come back a couple of them come back again and said boy that's a lot of fun let's do this again well okay and then the idea of a caravan because we thought of the Airstream caravan and so uh, but uh, formed a caravan amongst local people then one uh, I think it was number well it had to be number two and uh, Bill Jackson there was the wagon master of caravan two <clears throat> and uh, so we decided that we can't do both very well. Let's get us what's called a coordinator, and he'll run the caravan, and we'll just work with him. And that's the two that started the caravan, Bud Mitchell and Bill Jackson. How about Thelma? Well, naturally, I got <laughs> Thelma in here, too. She was actually much as part, but right there, I don't see Thelma. It's my problem. <laughs> anyway, there's some of the trophies from the Bighorn Caravan. Anybody recognize what this was? Bill, tell them what that was. A little chili feast? Yeah, I think that was an egg, though, wasn't it? Oh, the egg fry, yeah. Yeah, the egg fry. That's where they crawl through the camper through the window? Crawl through the camper through the window, cook an egg, and come out and feed it to their husband, and he held his hand behind it. That's some of the games we come up with. We had games after games after games. Most of our caravanners were, uh, these guys look about in their 40s or so, but we had a lot of young people in the caravan. They loved to play. <clears throat> You can see Art Herman there standing with another guy that should have been here tonight, but I don't know what happened to him, uh, Ronnie Kramer. But we, we sung songs. There's Bud and Mary Jane. And there's Lou and Jeanette. Uh, and they're holding a, uh, it looks like horseshoes. As, as I remember, Bud and I did win the horseshoe uh, uh, one year. They must have won a doubles or something. But anyway, there to stand in. Lou Sickler there, he was our production manager, great production manager. His wife passed away a number of years ago. There's horseshoe pitching. <clears throat> but and I was uh, designated to be judges for the horseshoe pitching, and we took it a lousy fair. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Where's the preacher? He understands words. <laughs> We took a lousy fair attitude towards, uh, towards uh, a, a judge in the horseshoes. And these guys come down on us real hard. We, they meant business. And we had to really measure within a 30 second of an inch. <laughs> it was close enough. Played a lot of games. Had a great, great time. I don't know what this is, but I think this is something to do with trap shoot, but it doesn't show us trap shooting. They like their motorcycles. I don't know any... I don't know any of the people that's there, but uh, uh, now we didn't allow racing. Bill was a good organizer, and naturally we had no racing. But we had a game where you draw two parallel lines for about 10 feet, and you've seen how slow you could go through there. 
and keep moving. So my son entered it, and they judged that he won. Then he come back to me and says, Dad, I didn't win. I says, what do you mean? He says, I put my foot down. <laughs> I don't know if he got the trophy or not. Anyway, they had a lot of fun on their motorcycles. <clears throat> Kids, as you can see, was always a big part of the caravan. Uh, you can see Bud right there, and you can see Bill right there. And you can see his famous wife, Velma, right there. <laughs> Always carried lawn chairs. I think this is the steak fry. Another picture of a bunch of people steak fry. We had 15 caravans plus M with an average, not an average, the, uh, most of them they had is I think 30, is that right Bill? And a couple of them had a few less, but you take 15 times 30 times two or three to a camper, we had close to a thousand people show up. Can you believe that? That ain't a thousand people, that ain't all of them. They all didn't come out at the same time. That's a bunch of others. Maybe some of you can see yourself there. We enjoyed listening to the band. I had a picture of uh, steak fry. I think all we see right here is uh, one of the pits they had for it. This is uh, Fraser, Bill? Yeah. Fraser, and I think we stopped there for donuts and coffee. Man, we, we took over that town, I'll tell you. This camp was going way up here, way back here. Ah, we had a ball. There's a paved road in front of this, so I think this is uh, the... Uh, Kokanee snag, I'm not sure. I think it is. And you can see all the campers that we had there. Uh, Bud and I at the moment didn't care, but, but Bill said if you want to make a good caravan out of this, make sure that everybody that joined the caravan had a Mitchell camper. There we're back in, uh, in uh, Fraser again. Kokanee snagging in November. Had a ball. That's a different kind of, entirely different kind of fishing than, than, than other kind of fishing. <laughs> you get in there with your treble hook and you got to throw where those suckers are laying. No use throwing where they're not laying. <laughs> they don't bite, no hook. <laughs> you understand a kokanee is a, a landlocked salmon and they, uh, and, and they lay their eggs and die. But they, they taste good smoked and we had a great time at it. Truthfully, they enjoyed the, uh, the dance at the Pine Cone Inn about as much or more than the kokanee snagging. There's when cowboys could be cowboys and cowgirls could be cowgirls. How many of you have ever been to a big Pine Cone Inn dance? Here we go. Oh, those are some good old days, I'll tell you. <laughs> Uh, here's the other part. You can see got, uh, three, three guys with fish here. They got, well, I, he don't have a trophy. But anyway, we gave out trophies for the biggest fish. And uh, again, Bill dealt with the band. Same thing. It, it took guys with a lot of, uh, sometimes we got, had snow going over the pass. But one thing trying with a caravan, if, you're, if there was 15 or 20 or 30 of you, if anything happened to you, anybody would come to help you. You had no problem whatsoever. These guys were brothers, I'll tell you that. In fact, they were like family. There we are again in the snow up at Grand Lake. A lot of pictures, uh, Bill, of uh, Fraser. Fraser. There's Velma standing up there just to washing the heck out of this good-looking Mitchell camper. And uh, there is... Uh, Nancy Sickler, she died here about quite a while ago. Anyway, I think we had parades, didn't we? Yeah. And I don't remember a lot about it, but these people like to have their parades. I'm telling you, we had a great time in, as a, and that's the end of the program, except